the electric car, the newest and most technologically advanced machinery of automobilization. Whether you're out for the night, on a vacation, or just in your daily commute, there is one for you. Over the past decade, these cars have earned their fame and their way up to name them the new technological advancement. Even though it is only the 1% of the population in the United States that uses electric cars, the electric car is rapidly incorporating into our world and economy. With over 1.3 million electric cars roaming the world, it is clearly that the rise of sales in these vehicles is exponentially growing, doubling every year in China and increasing by almost 20% in the US as of last year. The main purpose of these vehicles is to eradicate the use of gasoline, or at least lower it to the minimum, and with that improve the world that we live in. Throughout this video I will talk about the major advantages that the electric car has in our society and how we can increase the use of this vehicle to possibly leave the gasoline car unutilized. So what is an electric car? The differences that it has from a normal car are only a few. The most important one is that the main power, instead of being a gasoline engine, is actually a rechargeable electric motor. And the major effect that this difference causes in the world concerns many of us whether we know it or not. An electric car produces zero engine emissions. What does it mean? It means that the major cause of global warming emissions is not being produced. No pollution is being created, thus no negative effect on our environment is happening and is doing all of this while also saving you money and perhaps time as well. It saves you money in many ways, the first one being on the road. The US Department of Energy estimates that an electric car would cost you about half the price of a normal gasoline car would in terms of recharging or refueling a vehicle. It would cost you around $2 a gallon of gasoline while an electric car would cost you $1 of electricity to travel the same distance. And not only does it save you money on the road, but also when you buy it. A new deduction by the IRS has been made and it specifies that the after a purchase of an electric vehicle, the owner of such vehicle can qualify for an income tax credit for up to $7,500, an incentive given by the government for helping the environment. Another great contributor to the consumer's economy is the composition of the electric car. The way they are made consists of only two moving parts, without any fluids, complex parts or other dependable variables that can cause failures on the vehicle resulting in the advantage of the car getting rid of monthly services and yearly inspections of the car, and with that saving you money. Within the first 100,000 miles, a gasoline car will make you spend an average of 6 cents per mile from yearly and monthly services, and it will only increase after those 100,000 miles, whereas the electric vehicle only starts to create extra minimal expenditures after these 100,000 miles, costing 3 cents per mile. That is a $5,000 saving that the electric car would do to you during the first year of driving it. It is also conveniently designed to save you time. The battery is capable of holding the charge that can last a whole day without the need of stopping to recharge it or much less a stop at a gas station. Just charging it overnight in the commodity of a household will be ready for another day. The only disadvantage that could be identified here would be the long distance drivers or casual road trips. The reliability of charging stations is a major concern for the community that is driving these cars. Although many solutions have been offered, such as PlugShare's phone app to locate charging stations around the country, the real solution is to build more charging ports in more cities. There are many solutions to achieve this objective, one of which could be to adapt roadside gasoline stations to not only provide people with gasoline, but with also electricity. Many different car models offer a different battery life, ranging from 70 miles to up to 300 miles in average, depending on their price. And each one has its qualities and different capabilities to facilitate the use of such vehicle and also the safety that comes with it. For example, Tesla and their new autopilot driving. This new American car company is making the driver to do minimal use of biomechanical movements, being able to adjust speed and steering autonomously. What we are doing is making it a lot uh, easier and more comfortable to drive the car um, and incorporating uh, a lot of active safety features so that the car will uh, stay in its lane, will automatically brake, will maintain a distance to other cars, uh, will uh, avoid like highway barriers and other obstacles. And although this is only one car manufacturer, many others intend to follow Tesla's step into creating the car of the future, with newer technology and significantly change the way we live and above all, making the streets safer.
The electric vehicle is also a great contributor in improving the environment and the well-being of the natural habitats in the world. Like I mentioned before, this vehicle produces zero emissions, no pollution is being created, and in places such as China, it has been seen that the electric car is potentially benefiting the well-being of the country as the usage of such cars rises. A study research done by a group of professional environmentalists in Europe was published in the International Conference of Urban Health. This research stated and supported the ideas behind why the world needs an electric car to roam around at a greater amount. They specifically talked about the environmental well-being of China and that an electric car will be exponentially improving the health of citizens and their air quality in the area, aiming to influence the country's government and create new policies to improve the public health. According to Christian Bassett, a Hong Kong environmental activist, this is a small but very important change. Even if 10% of China's motorists started driving electric cars in the next 10 years, what impact would that have? The impact would not be, may not be tremendous on the scale of the country. However, as, an, as a green organization, we see it as a sign, I see, we see it as an evolution of the mentalities. And if more people think about green car, if more people think about green technology, so much the better. China is now overrun by electric cars, with more charging stations than gasoline stations around the country. So, after showing all the environmental advantages, the new technology, and the safety provided by these cars, what can we do to change steel and alternate fuel and make this world a better place? Well, most of the possible things that can be done have already been done. Economic persuasion into buying the vehicles? Done. The IRS with the income tax credits. Easier management of charging stations for better battery life? Done. The independent companies with their phone apps. Other solutions can be applied. At a federal level, many things can be done besides the tax credit. Perhaps another taxing increment can be applied to gasoline cars in order to persuade the people at a nationwide level to stop consuming these cars and change to electricity instead. At a state level, the highway spending done by the Department of Transportation can also be strategized to consume a small portion and build more charging stations along the highways, in resting points, gas stations, or other key points in state roads, so that the battery charge range will not be compromised to only one charge when traveling in different cities. But out of all of these possibilities, the only one that can influence the most is us, the individual and local level. Only if we gain more knowledge and become more environmentally aware about our situation, we will determine that an electric car is the correct path to a better world and less natural resource consumption. After, every local community will generate a high enough demand and the opportunities offered by the federal level will become more abundant and the state level strategies will adapt to our new electric life rapidly. Even independent companies will start to build third-party businesses that adapt normal gasoline stations and adhere charging ports to them as well, to create a higher flexibility and ease of use to an electric car.